Now at 11, CBS News Miami is tracking the tropics and we are keeping a close eye on Lee. The storm was upgraded to a hurricane earlier today. Good evening, I'm Lauren Pastrana. And I'm Jim Barry. Elliot has the night off. Hurricane Lee is forecast to become an extremely dangerous storm by the weekend. But let's get started with next weather chief meteorologist and hurricane specialist Ivan Cabrera. Ivan, it appears Florida is going to be spared from the storm. It is, but you know, we're so far away from that. And until the National Hurricane Center cone begins that bend and until it actually happens, uh, we have to watch this very closely. We've seen this movie before and it's not to scare you, but you know, it's one of those things where things can change right now. Florida Florida, eastern U.S., we are looking good with that consistent model run after model run that depicts a turn to the north in about uh, 10 days. There is a hurricane now, 80 mile an hour winds. This is the last night I think we'll have double digits. This is going to be a triple digit storm from now on, 100 mile an hour winds tomorrow. And the latest from the National Hurricane Center actually has it even stronger. I know this was a cat four before, but we're pushing category five here. 155 mile an hour winds. That would be Saturday night. You get to 157. There's your cat. Category five, so we're going to be you know right in that range there. But thankfully, as that is happening, as it's intensifying, it's going to remain north of the islands. But when you have a you know a near Cat five hurricane here, you're going to have some big time impacts here across the islands. If this track you know verifies, even if it takes a little bit of a jog to the uh, south here, I think the islands would still be spared the brunt of it. In fact, let's take a look at one of the models here, the European. This is the wind field. That's the other thing about this hurricane. Not only will it be very intense, likely this strongest of the season, but huge as far as its wind field and how much ground it's going to cover here. So there's Puerto Rico and the northern Leeward Islands, and you see that wind beginning to impact them. Tropical storm force wind gusts, big rain bands coming in, so not the dangerous core winds that are going to be well to the north. And then the turn that we're expecting from both the GFS, the American model, and the European, that nice turn to the north. But again, that is dependent on this big jet stream uh, that's going to dive down, hopefully strong enough to be able to pull us to the north, but until we see more model runs and until this actually begins to happen, uh, we have to watch this uh, closely.